Hello my beautiful people, welcome to the next weekly general uh, tarot reading with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And don't forget, if you want to see uh, this next, se the next in the series for the tarot and astrology project that I'm doing with astrology from uh, astrology with <laughs> from Heather with astro from Heather uh, with Heather from astrology with Heather, you can head over to her channel and check it out. With that said, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love. Of light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you or should I say us, all of us, on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So this week when I went into my intuition the message was, um, what I actually saw was somebody sort of coming out of, you know like a, a hatch and it was like somebody was emerging out of something so the word that I've taken from this was emergence as opposed to emergency that's not what we're talking about here what we're talking about is emergence and what i took away from this message was that at the moment right we're in we're well into this whole situation now and uh, i talked about this just recently as well so it's interesting that it's come up for the week ahead um you know at the moment we've all been in this situation for a while now and we're at a point where people's distractions are no longer working. Uh, you know, spending however much time binging Netflix, watching TV and all the rest of it, it just isn't cutting it anymore. Uh, this idea of being able to immerse yourself with things, it's just not doing it anymore. The distractions are no longer working. And what is starting to emerge, emergence, right? What is starting to emerge from within people is what they really are passionate about, what they really want to learn, what they really want to do where it is that they feel like their lives are heading, where it is that they want to live. I cannot tell you the amount of readings I've done uh, recently in the last two weeks where everybody in some way, shape or form is looking at the place that they live and they're deciding, you know what, this isn't the place for me. It's. I think we're going to see mass migrations, um, you know, when everything starts to move. I think a lot of people are going to set that in motion. And what is starting to emerge from within everybody is what they are, uh, what they feel like their purpose is, for, uh, what they feel like they're here for, what they feel like they're supposed to do, what they feel like they're supposed to do for work. Everything is shifting and changing for people now and a big part of this is because their true self, their true energy is now starting to emerge from within them. Their true understanding of what they should be doing, where they should be heading and ultimately, uh, you know, what just isn't working. You know, we talk about this idea of uh, letting go or rele releasing everything that doesn't serve us. What does that mean? It means that it's not giving you the experience that you choose. It means that it's not giving you the experience that you feel like you are actually aligned with. And now that this is starting to emerge from within people, that restless feeling that you're feeling, yes, there's a lot going on with the planets, especially with Mars and Uranus doing their thing, um, you know, but I think it's more than that. I think the, the energy that is kind of within us is a lot of people are saying, right, you know what, I have a call to action and I need to follow that. I need to answer that within myself self. So uh, let's have a look. Before we start, I would like to bless my decks of cards. I think I've already done this, but I can't remember now. With all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So let's have a look, see what the week ahead has in store for us. What is the destiny card for this week? And this week we get... <laughs> The star card, right? This is really interesting because yes, the star card is technology, the internet, all of those things, but it, it, you know, in some of its deeper aspects, this represents a glimpse into the future. It represents looking through a window and, uh, and understanding where we're heading, what we're heading towards. If this new aspect of yourself is emerging, then you are focused on your future. You are focused on bringing about what is for your highest good, but also what ties into 
this. This card is ruled by or, uh, or rules uh, ruled by or rules Aquarius, whichever way you want to say it. And this is really interesting because as a destiny card, this suggests that the wider world stage, but the tribe within the wider world stage is going to start to pull together. It's also going to start speaking up. Um, you may very well find that this is what you're tapping into. You know, there's this idea of not just idea of connecting to people, but this idea of standing for people, standing with people. Uh, you know, for me, Aquarius is about understanding your unique originality, but understanding that you are also a part of the whole. This is about not losing yourself in the face of all that is. And when you talk about this as a destiny card, this is about a glimpse into the future. This is about a glimpse into what it is that really resonates with you, where you're taking this from here on in. What is starting to emerge from within you is giving you an idea of where it is that you're supposed to be. Uh, one thing that I say to people a lot of the time, you know, when they ask me about their purpose, the things that you enjoy, the things that feel good and right to you very often are a glimpse into what your purpose is you know and I'll give you an example uh, you know even when I was uh, doing my full-time work and I was doing other things in my life uh, underneath that there was always this thread of tarot astrology numerology these were things that were always kind of there in the background and I knew that I loved to do them and look at this however many years later this is what I do for work pay attention to what it is that you love, pay attention to what it is that excites and ignites that passion within you because there's something in it for you and it has something to do with your personal future or your personal uh, vision for your life. Now, the star card is a destiny card as well, right? The destiny card is the overarching or energy or theme. This week, I do believe that uh, groups of people may start to pop up. They might start to speak up about things that they are either happy about or not happy about. And I think we're going to get a lot more of this kind of... Um what's the word I think we yeah we're going to get a lot more of this back and forth stuff but I also feel like this week there may be very well there may very well be some um what's the word uh some ideas put forward of what we can do on a you know on not only on a global scale but also in a local scale on a local scale uh, how this is you know how can we pull our communities together how can we be a part of a community that is more sort of uh, in our local or you know in our locale oh, that's the word that i was looking for <laughs> all right so let's give this some direction let's give it some context let's see what comes up okay so this card is to see how we best achieve the destiny or what it means when we flesh it out and this week we get the Knight of Cups, all right, so this is, for me, this is usually offers or opportunities, but it does look like, you know, especially there with the Star card, it does look like there are going to be uh, opportunities popping up. There's gonna be a lot of people um, driving towards this idea and this understanding that there is something that they can do. I think uh, this week we're gonna see a lot of people start to think about gaining back their power. This is gonna start to, to exercise whatever ability and power they have uh, and it may very well be that a lot of people in many ways shapes and forms are called upon this week uh, to do so right your knight of cups is uh, is very often a solid offer but as a whole as a direction card this is about creating opportunities it's about creating uh, paths for yourself it's about thinking ahead right because with your star card here it's about thinking ahead and saying right okay how is it that I can provide some form of opportunity what is it that I can do to show up for the world what is it that I can offer that is going to fulfill a need in some way shape or form um I mean, I love the Knight of Cups. I always see this as a happy card. And the fact that you've got the crane in the background there, um, it really does suggest to me that this week we are going to have good news as a whole. It suggests that there is gonna be what I would call some collective divine intervention or some divine intervention towards or around the collective, which means in some way, shape or form, we are all stepping forward. Um, it would be nice to have some good news around, you know, all of us being able to get out out this week but I do feel like there will definitely be some movement there will be definitely this week some resuming of um 
I don't want to say business as normal because it's never going to go back to what we understood. Uh, there are big changes that have already been set in motion and there's going to be con there's going to be a continuation of those big changes. But definitely there will be some form of movement as of next week. Uh, I think it's going to be like the start of the slow trickle, so to speak. So let's have a look at the insight, what is coming in, what may very well be working its way into our lives. And we've got the eight of wands. So this is interesting because aside from, you know, lots of communication, now this is a really interesting one because your star card is the internet. It's that sort of communication. Coupled with the eight of wands, this is about really long distance communication. It looks like there's going to be some big talks going on between various different countries, between various different companies this week. And it does look like international communications and trades are going to be in the newspaper a lot this week. They already are in many ways, right? But there's going to be a lot of discussions about this sort of stuff and when things will start to move. I think we're going to start to hear over the course of this next week, we'll start to hear a lot more by the way of uh, actual dates when people are saying, right, okay, this is going to happen around this time. This is the rough date of, you know, when this is going to happen, when this is going to move. We're going to start to see uh, over the course of this week, a lot of what is taking place. We're going to start to get more information. It looks in many ways, shapes and forms actually like the people are going to get more information about the uncertainty that we are all facing in some way. Now, your eight of wands also represents rural areas, you know, big sort of rural tracts of land. I think this week we may very well hear of people starting to set up their own co uh, own communities. I feel like we're going to see a lot by the way of um, a lot of people starting to really think more about their uh, environment and how they can harness that. So, you know, growing food or uh, what they can do in that respect. The other thing with the Eight of Wands as well, it represents teaching. Um, it represents teaching, it represents mentoring and learning. And one of the things that I've said a lot uh, recently, right, is if you've got an opportunity now to study, pick up that damn book, start that course, uh, you know, whatever it is that you can do to educate yourself, to, to learn, to grow, to change, to maybe even change your career path altogether. Now is the time to do it. Now is the time to set it in motion so that when things go uh, back to movement and we start to see things like that, you are already ahead of your own personal curve and you already have a plan in place. Um, it looks like we're seeing a lot of this. I mean, this is a, a really interesting set of cards I would say that eight of wands there coupled with the knight of cups um, for those of you that work in agriculture for those of you that work in hospitality for those of you that work in um, you know any sectors such as it does look like you'll be getting some form of news or at least a more concrete idea of when it is that you'll be able to start going back to work when it is that you'll be able to start moving again so I mean this was a very global reading um, which is really interesting because usually you guys know me I kind of hone in a bit more on you know some of the specifics or the more of the details but this seems to be very sort of broad strokes which is nice so you know it's nice to do different sometimes so let me know what you think in the comments I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff have a fantastic week let me know take care and I'll see you soon